Are you tired of your clunky makeshift power supplies? Do all the wires make you feel like a prisoner? Well, check out the Scotian Power Box. Hey guys, what's up? Today, I just want to show you something uh, I threw, threw together right quick. Uh, so charging, especially the uh, chargers like the ISDTs that need an external power supply to run. Uh, I've used, like you've, you've seen in the beginning of the video, you know, I, I have, I don't know how many different... Uh, PC and Xbox 360s uh, power supplies made up, but you know they're all big and clunky. You got to modify all the wires if if you want them to uh, to be compact. And still, you know if you have multiple uh, chargers, then you know you're gonna have wires everywhere. So. What I made up is this portable travel uh, power power box, I guess, for your ISDT chargers or any other charger that needs uh, uh, external power supply. So as you can see, I made it out of an ammo box. Um, right here has a little uh, little storage compartment. And that's where I like to keep the power cord. Uh, good, good little spot for it. Uh, take you around here. I took uh, took these these pieces out of uh, a PC here, an old PC I had laying around. So I got another fan to help the power supply. Uh, cool uh, as well as uh, this socket here I don't know what it's called so forgive me uh, and the great thing about working about working with uh, plastic I actually you know uh, cut cut these out with uh, a box cutter I you know I, I traced everything around it was really careful pretty careful um, so I cut cut everything out with the box cutter, and as you can see, it's not that bad of a job, you know, uh, even when you're up pretty close, you know, drill the holes, super easy, uh, so yeah, that's the outside, you know, I just threw some stickers on there, make it my own, so let's go on the inside, so one thing I do like is, I like to be kind of organized, have all my charging stuff in one spot, portable, you know. So, that's why I chose chose this. Uh, I did have it in, like, a Harbor Freight uh, case before, but it was big and bulky. Uh, this is nice and fairly compact, right? And pretty friggin' tough. So, anyways, let's get into her. And as you can see, I have my Birdwell charger with, you know, a bunch of extensions in there. My Q6 Plus, my SC608 chargers in here, and my ISDT uh, uh, board here. And they all fit in the top. Closes nice, nice and easy. So... Uh, everything fits in here. This is everything's in there. It's great. Since I uh, cleaned out the chargers and everything, took all that out. You can actually see the inside here. Uh, this is actually the tray that came with the uh, the box itself. All I did was cut out the the handle, had a handle there, uh, and used it as a window. Took a, an old piece of uh, plexiglass or. Lexan, I don't know what it was, but uh, I I had cut uh, for another project, and it seemed to fit pretty good. 
Um, I just hot glued it in there. It's a little messy, but you know, I just want something so it'd be flat across top and uh, yeah, nothing would fall in. And you know, uh, it doesn't look half that half bad either. I also took some uh, some uh, sandpaper and sand that up so it's not like a completely uh, clear clear piece. It's a little opaque. So, uh, anyways, so yeah. Uh, so here are my power leads. I just have the uh, the caps there in case I'm only using one of these. Uh, doubt it would ever uh you know arc but i don't know i like to be safe uh one good thing about this too is i don't do my charging in this room so that's kind of the theory behind this is uh you know you could take it to, easily take it to a friend's place and charge if uh if you're you're out anywhere and you can also take it uh traveling with you it's just really portable so yeah i don't charge in this room i actually take it out uh and charge on top of a stove on top of my stove uh because it's probably the safest place in the house so i like to do my charging there uh and right here uh, I actually made extensions, these extendable. I just drilled some holes in there, fed the uh, fed the leads through there, and uh, so now, because this is plastic, unless you're watching it like a hawk, you probably don't want to do your, uh, your parallel charging inside the box, because if something goes wrong, this is going to melt, it's going to be a bad day, so... Uh, I just made these long, you know, so I can uh, put them a little bit away from the uh, away from the box itself. Uh, so yeah, so let's try and go inside. Okay, guys, now that I have a bit of a better angle, uh, in here you can see what's going on. So here's the uh, power supply, 600 watt, uh, 50 amp. Uh, 12 volt power supply but it is actually adjustable up to I believe 14.5 volts um, I have it set to around 13 I believe uh, just because I don't know how great the quality is on this and I don't really want to burn it out so I, uh, I bumped it up a little bit but whatever uh, 12 volts should, should do you fine anyways uh, for a charger. 24 volts would be better, but 12 volts will work. Uh, so as you can see, um, these are, I just hot glued, it is ugly, but you don't see it anyways. Hot glued a couple 12 volt LEDs in here. Here's the uh, PC fan, uh, just to add some extra uh, ventilation. Uh, Here's the the power wire. So, you know, I just took an old PC uh, cable, uh, took off the, the plastic uh, shielding here, uh, separated the wires, but just on the ends here, so I can keep all three wires together, looking fairly clean. Uh, well, that looks clean. The rest of the box eh. anyways so i use these uh terminal uh jacks i think they're called anyways uh to clean keep everything clean i just plugged in the other end of uh of this cord and i will all i do is plug it in there and as you can see it has, uh, oh, don't look in the light. As you can see, the LEDs are lit up. Everything's running. Uh, so then we just, everything's twisted. Put this plate in there. That should move the 
this around. So, uh, it's unplugged. So, as you can see, the turn off this. You know, it's lit up. Kind of looks cool. And uh, so, let's plug in the chargers. Now, I'm not going to put any uh, any load on these just because I don't I don't think I'll be flying in the next little bit. But I'll power everything up. See, uh, should have this prepared. Anyways, as you can see, powers powers them up fine, which it should anyways, because it's not that. Uh, not ta that taxing on the power supply, but uh, you know, you can have have uh, uh, two of these uh, running it at the, your 14 amps and uh, your max 14 amps. That's why I say 14 amps. Uh, but they're 300 watt running 4s. Uh, you're not, you, you know, running 4s 14 amps. I can't remember the exact figure, but it's not not even uh, 300 watts. So 600 watt power supply, uh, 50 amps, you're good, no issues. So that's why I like that. And uh, another thing I should mention is because everything is uh, I'm sure I'm not blinding you. I am blinding you. Let's give me a sec here. So, uh, there's actually three positive and negative uh, outputs on this. So, I'm using two for the uh, for the power supplies themselves, and the other the other two are powering the LEDs and the fan. So, if you didn't care about, well, you should probably probably have a fan in there anyways. But if you want to run three chargers as long as you're not uh, overloading the power supply itself uh, I believe you should be able to uh, and the reason I'm running two power supplies is one I could use them all for my 4s packs or I could use one for uh, my 4s packs one for my 3s packs or uh, transmitter, battery, um, you know, or if you had two different, uh, voltages, you could run both of these, uh, at the same time. Okay, so another handy thing, uh, about this is you could be using this one to, uh, to charge, your, your packs and say you need to work on your quad well you can also use if you have this or made up this uh, power extension for your your TS100 or your Saint Smart Pro 32 you can actually use this as a power supply as well Now, this is uh, 12 volts, so it's not going to heat up as fast as it would um, if you're using the this, this supplied, I think, 19 volt, or you know, if you had a had a uh, 24 volt power supply. But it'll get the job done, uh, just the same. So, but you know, that's it's just another convenient. Uh, convenient feature uh, or use I guess uh, of this uh, power box so let me unplug this let's 
So you could also, if you have the know-how, uh, use one of these uh, actual actual PC power supplies. But just be be careful of the output and everything. Um, oh yeah, another thing I should mention. The way it's held into the bottom, I didn't screw into the bottom. I just have this uh, industrial Velcro uh, on the bottom of the uh, the ammo box here. It seems to hold quite well. Anyways, so yeah, if you have the know-how, you can also use a, a computer power supply or a server power supply uh, if you have the know-how um, to do it. I actually had a, a friend help me out with this because um, I did not want to electrocute myself but with buying this this power supply off of Amazon it's super simple pretty much foolproof so I would recommend going this route unless like I said you're technical or know someone who who is technical okay so some future upgrades I might do to this is uh, I'm using 14 gauge uh, wire. Not sure with uh, you know how long it is, how it's going to hold up. If I find it's uh, getting too hot, I may upgrade that to uh, 12 gauge, but only time will tell. Um, another thing I would really like to uh, to have on this is a power switch uh, so I could actually leave it plugged in all the time uh, I just haven't been able to find a uh, what is it uh, one 120 volt host hold uh, uh, style switch that's small enough and it looks half decent so um, I'll just hold off on that. I can I can deal with it, but that'd be nice to have it always uh, on my bench. That way, you know, if I uh, if I needed to use the uh, TS100, you know, just switch it on, be plugged in all the time uh, instead of pulling out the cord. But whatever. Uh, another thing would be a and uh, red there there an acrylic top. Uh, for this that would lay right where this would I uh, I have been talking to someone about get getting a cut uh, just not sure if I want to pull the trigger just yet um, and it would have uh, probably some some uh, air vents on top and I don't know maybe my logo up here I don't know uh, it all depends but so yeah, I would like to see an acrylic top, but uh, I would definitely, if I was going to go with an acrylic top, I'd have to uh, do a little bit of cleanup, and I would remove these uh, single, well, double, but these double single uh, LEDs and get a strip to actually put around uh, here to make it make it look uh, look a little bit better, but. Other than that, uh, everything else pretty much fit, fits my needs. You know, I could run uh, a banana banana plug jacks out the side or whatever, but I really don't use them, and this it seems to work fine uh, the way it is. So uh, that's about it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Later.